If affiliate marketing is such an amazing opportunity and if it's so easy for a whole lot of people to make money on this, then why do so many people fail? If you are looking to build an affiliate marketing business online and this is a question that has bothered you ever, then you need to watch this. So stay tuned. My name is Nadish K and if this is your first time on any video of mine or you're on my channel uh, then I'd like to welcome you. I often do keep posting videos uh, with all the tips and tricks and learnings that I've picked up over my years as an affiliate marketer. So if that is something that sounds like you might be interested in then do click on the like and the subscribe button below so that you can get notified every time I post a new video. Right? With that said, let's get back to this question. If affiliate marketing is such a brilliant opportunity then why do so many people fail? There's a study done that says 90%, in the actual numbers are actually closer to more than 95% actually, but 90% of all affiliate marketers fail within the first four months. And I should know because I was actually one of them. Uh, I think there's hardly anybody who started out and made it the very first time, right? But a lot of people, in fact, almost everybody fails. Uh, a few people pick themselves up and then they try again, um, uh, but then they continue failing. So there is a very high rate of failure in this whole business. And the problem is not with affiliate marketing because affiliate marketing has kept evolving, but most affiliate marketers have not. And that's the problem. What do I mean by it has kept evolving? Well, there have been four distinct stages in affiliate marketing, four distinct stages since it first began. And uh, we'll just quickly go through each one of those stages just to give you an idea and to see exactly where the gap is, all right? So the first stage was what I call affiliate marketing level one, which was the simplest stage. This is where it all began. You as an affiliate marketer would send traffic to an offer uh, and out of all the people you sent, some people would buy and they, when they bought, you made a commission, right? And it was plain vanilla, as simple as that, a very linear kind of a model. Uh, which worked very well in the first few days, but it quickly, in fact, a few years down the line, it became not viable for a whole lot of people. And the reason is simple, because in a model like this, there are only two variables. There is traffic and then there are sales. And the fact is that as the years went by, if the cost of traffic goes up, which it did, in fact, over the years, it has gone up almost six times now since 2005, if you compare the 2005 rates to today, it is at least six times uh, the rate that it was. So if the cost of traffic goes up, but the commissions themselves don't go up like that. More importantly, when the conversions themselves come down, then you have a problem. And that's exactly what happened. Conversions did keep coming down because customers became wise. They started getting used to seeing all these different offers and they realized that there was a lot of mediocrity and they became much more careful with what they entrusted their money and their faith to. So conversions came down, cost went up, the amount of money you made on each sale really remained pretty much the same or just went up marginally, which basically meant it just became unprofitable. It just became almost impossible to make a profit on this model alone, right? So that was level one. Uh, and this basically meant that you would take one customer and make one transaction. For the next time you wanted to make a sale, you had to catch hold of another customer. And so it was like a hunt and kill. You had to keep hunting new customers every time for the same product, right? The second model <coughs> was a slightly more evolved model. So you did again send traffic, but this time instead of sending them directly to a sales page, what you would do was you would send them first to something called an opt-in page. And the thinking was, that if you're anyway spending so much time and effort actually sourcing those people and making them go somewhere, you might as well at least build uh, a database of these people so that at least you know that there is a database of people who are interested in the matter that you're actually, you know, in the topic that you're actually dealing with or promoting. So that next time you can reach out to them. If you could do that, that would make things a whole lot better. And it actually did. So this was the second model. You send them first to an opt-in page where people would put in their email IDs. As I'm sure you're aware, you must have done this many times yourself, right? So you send them to an opt-in page and from then on to the offer, but whatever details they fed in into the opt-in page would first come on to an autoresponder. It's a place where all the email IDs are stored, which allowed you to write out emails and communicate with these people. So from the autoresponder, you could then send out a whole lot of emails regarding not just this particular offer, but a lot of offers from there on, because now they have become your database, your list, right? 
and then when you made a sale you made a commission so this was the second level and the way this worked was that it was still the same one customer but now that same one customer you could approach that person over and over again with many different products or many different offers and so there was a definite improvement over the first stage but over years this too became unviable and stopped working really because this became a norm firstly right so everybody had an opt-in page now that means that an average person would put in an email in at least 20 different places or 25 different places they'd get onto 25 different lists and suddenly everybody started getting bombarded with various emails and all of them were just pitching they were not really you know most of them were not really adding value they were not really helping the person along in their journey they were just pitching one product after the other saying yeah, you know buy this buy that buy this buy that and over a period of time you get bored i mean you get uh, tired of the whole thing you, you know you know most people even stopped opening mails or even clicking on them so open rates came down click rates came down and uh, before you knew it a lot of people actually even un unsubscribed so overall this became unviable as well the third model was what I call affiliate marketing level three, which was again a step up from this, where again you would send traffic and you would first send it to an opt-in page, but then instead of sending them directly onto you know, one product and finishing the transaction there, you built what is called a sales funnel. Okay, A sales funnel, I mean, first you would send them to a bridge page to kind of warm them up a little, and then you would send them to a sales funnel. A sales funnel was a series of offers made along in the same transaction by first offering them something called a tripwire, which was something that was of such a ridiculously low price, but of such a lot of value for that price that it became almost stupid to not buy it. So most people would actually, you know, the tendency to buy it was very high because there was no resistance. The value, perceived value was high and the price itself was very low. So you would buy that. But once you've got into the buying mode, right, as a customer, then you are in a buying mode. And that's what this approach leverages. Once you're in a buying mode, that's the time to actually pitch you with slightly more or higher uh, level offerings, which are really, you know, valuable, which will help you in getting the result that you actually desire when you bought that first product. But that's presented to you after you've made an initial purchase. As I said, that puts you in a buying mode. And then you have something called an upsell, which is a higher value product. If you don't want that upsell and if you, or if you're not interested in it, then you present it with something called a downsell, which is a slightly scaled down version of the upsell, right? And if you say no to that again, then you get to take into another upsell and its corresponding downsell and so on and so forth until that person has passed through an entire funnel before that particular transaction is complete. And what this does is that every time a person has opened their wallet, it increases the average order value called the AOV. This is the principle that made McDonald's so successful, right? You must have heard, if you ever walked into a McDonald's, would you like some fries with that? Or would you like a Coke with that? Or would you like to buy this combo package? That's exactly what they're doing. You've bought the burger. That's not where they make the money. They make the bulk of the money on the fries and the, and the Coke or, or the, uh, or, you know, whatever soft drink that they provide. But that's the exact principle on what they increase the average order value, right? And this was affiliate marketing three. And again, once you've completed the transaction, you're brought back to the autoresponder and then you're sent back to either this funnel or other funnels later on. But it's the same process all over again, right? This again worked pretty well for a good part of time. In fact, a lot of people still do this today and they put people through funnels. But the top 1%, the guys who are truly cracking it, crushing it, right? They play the game a little differently from this as well. They do send you, as we show, showed you earlier, to an opt-in page with the bridge page and the entire funnel and all that. But once the transaction is complete, instead of sending you back to the, you know, autoresponder and then pitching the other funnels later on, they first send you to something called a members area a members area because the initial tripwire or some one of the upsells along that will actually in fact the initial tripwire itself in most cases is actually some sort of a training right that allows you to bring people into a members area where the training is being delivered through various lessons now in that when they are delivering those lessons 
And when they're giving you the training is where they will actually start pitching you other product and services that you will need as a means of getting the results that you were looking for when you first signed up to this particular course, right? You will naturally need them. It's not just, you know, selling the stuff that you don't need. You will need them. But the big difference here is that when you are in the training area, in the members area, there is a subtle shift in your mindset because now you're not a customer or a prospect. You're learning from somebody, right? And when you're learning from somebody, you are in a student mode. You're in a learning mode. And in that mode, when somebody presents something to you, there's a subtle psychological shift in your mindset, which is very important. In that mindset, you are far more likely to receive and act upon the suggestions given to you, which is why the ecosystem, the educational ecosystem, as it's called, is an amazing way to deliver that. And through that, not only is it just that you go through the training, but as you go through the training, there are various other, you are now in that person's world. And in that world, there are a lot of other products. There are a lot of other services that are being offered to you for each one called like multiple streams of income, right? These multiple streams of income are recurring commission products. And there are other standalone products that you may be offered or, you know, uh, that may be offered to you. Either way is once you are in their world, it gives them the opportunity to keep presenting to you stuff that you will need and actually find value out of so that there is a mutual exchange of value between the two of you. This is the model that Apple actually worked brilliantly on. If you're in the Apple world, everything Apple related is what the only thing that makes sense to you, right? This is what Apple actually capitalized on. This is how the top 1% of affiliate marketers work. Now, this is easy for the top 1% of people, but as a beginner, how does it work for you is the question that I'm sure is on your mind, yeah? And it's it's a very valid question because as a beginner, there are gonna be three key challenges if you want to make this model work. First of all, as a beginner, you may not have the authority or the expertise to you know deliver, to actually construct a training, to deliver the training and all of that, right? And uh, there's a, there's no reason why people should actually listen to you if you're just starting out on your journey, right? Second part is you may not have the wherewithal or the expertise or the experience to set up this massive ecosystem and the funnels and the ray meals and there's so many moving parts in that particular system. You may not have the expertise or the system to set it up. Thirdly, there are a lot of people who say, look, you don't have to bother with all that. You just send the traffic. I'll give you my system and you can use it. And a lot of people do that as well. The problem with that is that such people only give you, first of all, commissions on the front end on the tripwire and then all the rest of the meat, which is actually made in the background, the meat and potatoes of the business becomes theirs. They don't really share that with you, number one. More importantly, when you do that, you still get commission only on the front end. You have not built up your business and you're actually back to affiliate model level one because that's pretty much what you're doing. You're sending traffic. If you make a sale, you make a commission and then you're sending some more traffic and so on and so forth. You are not gaining anything out of the rest of it that has been built up in a lot of these people who tell you, hey, I've got a funnel, send it to me, okay? So to in a nutshell, what you need is you need to be able to leverage other people's authority or expertise. You need to have access to setups and systems that will actually work for you and you need plug in, you know, you need support so that you are able to build up your own business and not just get commissions, not transaction based, but actually building a real solid business. So leverage access and support is really what an ideal program should offer. And this is what the program that I'm about to share with you really offers in abundance. Okay. This program is started by somebody called Wayne Crow. Now, Wayne has been around for about many years now. It's almost 15 years, it's 14, 15 years since he's been around. He's made over $15 million since then. In fact, it may probably be more. He's set up a wonderful system called the OLSP Academy, uh, which actually takes care of all the facts that we had uh, discussed earlier, right? So what is OLSP? I mean, OLSP is a weird sounding name, right? So what exactly is it? Basically, it stands for One Lead System Pixel, which is a very technical kind of sounding name. But there's a reason why it's been named because that's the way it functions. I'll share that with you in a minute. It is a fully built out learning ecosystem that you can leverage to make commissions and build your own business at the same time as we discussed earlier. And the way it works is that 
in the beginning there is a funnel that he's built out what he calls a mega funnel and you send people into that mega funnel and then they are taken to this training area or the members area that we had shown you earlier and in the training area there are a lot of other uh, recommendations and suggestions that are made uh, in terms of tools and services that they're going to need in order to make this uh, you know the system work they're not mandatory you can work without them by the way let me just be clear but they are presented as opportunities for you to pick up if in case you want to fast track your success there and so it's a mix of recurring commission products and you know MSIs multiple streams of income other products uh, which are high ticket mid ticket kind of products where you are remarketed those kinds of products and so on and there are also live trainings that are being held uh, at regular intervals where Wayne brings on guests and uh, in these live trainings at the end obviously there is a sort of a pitch made or an offer that is being presented and so people can either choose to pick it up or not pick it up that is entirely their choice the way this works is that whenever you bring somebody into the system yeah as an as an affiliate or as a partner when you bring somebody into the system that person is cookied to you for life and so for the rest of the lifetime of that customer within the OLSP system whenever there's a purchase that that person makes or any sort of a, you know a, you know tool that he picks up or course that he picks up you stand to make a commission out of it for the rest of the person's lifetime within the OLSP community okay and it's a fully built out community with a lot of opportunities for that person to pick up stuff and for you to make commissions so that's the beauty of this whole thing right everything is done for you including setting up your own business right so what are the highlights of OLSP Academy the first is that the entry into the mega funnel is actually free. A lot of programs which are of similar kind actually, you know, uh, say that you have to pay a certain amount upfront in order to leverage that ecosystem. You don't have to pay that. You, the entry is uh, into the mega funnel is free. The entry into the whole ecosystem is free and you can become a partner for that for free without really having to pay an upfront, you know, amount, uh, you know, straight away. There are paid higher levels, however, which I should tell you. And, uh, you know, if you pay a certain amount, you do get taken to a higher level called the dominator level where you stand to make more commissions or higher percentages of commissions and higher amounts as commissions. But it is not mandatory. And even without that, you can actually leverage the system to make commissions of your own. Right. So it's free. The second thing is there is in-depth training that members area that I was talking about. There are there are five units of training there and they tell you everything about you know, first of all, how to leverage the system to your complete advantage, teaching you all about the system itself. Then it also tells you, gives you training in terms of the best practices in affiliate marketing today, certain tools, how to drive traffic. And it's, it's very, very valuable and we're very well put together in depth training that every person goes through. So even for the training itself, it's, it's really, really valuable. Yeah. The third thing is, as I said, there's an amazing ecosystem with a deep product range. So when you enter the funnel itself, there are products and offerings over there. But then there are other tools that are recommended inside. There are recording commission tools. So you as a person, as, as a promoter of that, when you bring somebody into the system, there is a lot of opportunity for you to make money whenever the person that you brought in actually picks up anything from within the ecosystem. Fourth is recurring commissions, as I've already said. Now, as I said, there are trainings. The way it works is that there are some training videos that Wayne has put out. And as part of the training, he then makes certain recommendations or he makes certain suggestions. And then below that immediately, there are links that one can click on and pick up if they follow the suggestion given by Wayne in his training video. But the beauty of the system is that below that training, the link that is there will automatically be your link. Yeah, because that person is cookie to you. So the training is given by Wayne, but when somebody acts on that suggestion and picks up uh, this thing through, your, through the link that is there, it's actually your link and you tend to make a commission out of it. So you've literally got Wayne on hire for you. Okay. This is one of the most important things. A lot of programs out there where you, know, uh, you read the testimonials and many of the testimonials, if you look carefully, are actually saying things like, oh, it was wonderful, the training was very nice, the coach was very good, and it was such a warm feeling. And Not too many people really talk about hardcore results. This community, you will find people who, have, who share hardcore results. They've made hard money. They've made hard cash. 
some examples here yeah somebody you know, and every time they do that there is a congratulations message that is being put up so somebody has reached the 30000 dollar uh, milestone somebody has reached a 47 dollar 1000 uh, 47000 dollar milestone and so on and so forth and every day in the facebook group there is a post that wayne puts up where he shares uh, you know it's a congratulatory message for all the people who have made commissions in the, in the recent past or in the you know in the previous day or the day before that right so massive congratulations to all the dominators who made these commissions and then there is a whole list and every day there's a list so clearly this is a community where a lot of people make a lot of money right and finally one of the most most uh, compelling arguments in its favor in my view is that unlike a lot of other system which then tell you how, you know which give you some sort of a training for paid uh, Facebook ads or paid Google ads, this focuses entirely, almost entirely on free traffic methods. And the focus is very high on free, free traffic methods. They'll tell you to, how to uh, generate free traffic, uh, you know, through uh, either through Facebook or through YouTube or a whole lot of other channels. Because they recognize that people who come into that system are people who are just starting out and they may not always have the kind of money to blow up on or, or to spend on, uh, you know, uh, paid traffic to begin with. Paid traffic is great to scale up later on, but in the beginning stages, it's a bit of a challenge because it's a whole different expertise altogether. And that can be quite a challenge. So free traffic methods and a lot of emphasis and a lot of training on free traffic is given all the time that you're there, right? And there are systems for turbocharging them. So if it's Facebook, if you get organic traffic from Facebook, they have some systems and mechanisms within OLSP that you can leverage to actually turbocharge and to actually bring in organic traffic at a much faster rate. Uh, because they learn or they really know how the algorithm works and they have figured out ways to use or leverage the algorithm in their favor, right? Now, this is the program that I wanted to tell you about. The question actually arises, why should you join through my link? Now, unlike a lot of other people who will then say, look, if you join through my link, I'll give you 20 bonuses. Here's this course and there is that course. I personally do not believe that that is really very beneficial to you, firstly. If I have to share anything with you, I will share with you along the way. Uh, through links and so on, uh, sorry, through uh, emails and so on. But to give you 20 courses at this point in time would really just be distracting you because you will not know which way to go. So I really don't believe in doing that sort of a thing. What I will tell you is that all along the way, I will be sending you affiliate marketing training, uh, you know, uh, but the kind of training that is absolutely on point that you'll find totally relevant to what you're doing right now or what you're doing within the OLSP Academy or whether, uh, or then to take it forward. Uh, not just general you know, training from anywhere else. I will also share with you some more free traffic methods. There are three other free traffic methods apart from what is being taught in OLSP that I will share with you. And again, recognizing what it takes to be an early stage marketer because it wasn't so long back that I was to be one of the early stage marketers and I know that I always was challenged when it came to budget. So I will be sharing with you what I call shoestring budget options, yeah, which are a lot of other options. There will be some tool options that are given within OLSP. If you can afford them, please do pick them up. That's great. But if you cannot, I will have certain options for you that are equally effective and I will figure out ways in order to make them work for you. Uh, but then you can do it at a definitely at a much lower cost. Yeah. So that was all about OLSP. I really do think, as I said before, that this is one of the best programs out there for you to get into and to start making money and to really start getting those small wins or those medium sized wins so that you get your confidence back in the game. So do click on the link right below this. Join OLSP today with my link and I'll see you inside and I wish you all the best in your journey.